Hi, <clears throat> how you doing? Okay, this is um, we're we're actually starting right now, so let's continue onward. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, one of my, my computer glitched just for a second. I apologize about that. I just gotta make sure everything is recording properly. Yes, 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 yes. So, okay, it's done. There we go. Everything's good. Okay, we'll get started on one of these and we'll get going. I really don't want to do that. I'm thinking of, I'll just go play here to guard this pawn. Probably, yeah. I'm going to Fianchetta right there. Fianchetto. Let's see here. See, I'm, I'm really thinking of playing there to get that dark square bishop off the board. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get that dark square bishop off the board. I'm gonna just fortify the knight. If he plays there, that's fine. Now I have a pawn that's locking down his position. Now I'm gonna play here because there's two pieces in between the this, and I'm just gonna play up here. Should be interesting. <clears throat> I 
<laughs> okay. Let's see, what do we want to do? Okay, if I take the knight takes bishop, knight takes knight, knight takes knight, bishop takes pawn, queen takes, that puts it right on a, not a very good diagonal that I want. Huh. Trying to see what <clears throat> what positional game do I want to play? Uh, I'm just gonna develop. Just develop, I'm not really sure at this moment what to do, so I'll just develop a rook to this open file. Okay. Just retreat my rook back.
Oh, shoot. Alright, I got one more. I gotta stay focused on this. He actually had me at one point. Let's see here. <clears throat> Thank you.
And we'll call it a tie on that. And we'll get busy on, um, um, we'll do, I wanted to start with an erroneous, oops. Oh no, what happened here? Well, what we'll do is I'll pull that, I'll do the Aronia game first and then we'll do the Caruana one. And we'll do an analysis. That was, that was a really good game. Okay, we'll do this one here. So well, yeah, what I had to do in this game here, guys, was I had to basically pry the center open. First of all, let's, let's go over this game because this is a really, uh, really, um, instructive one about how development actually makes a huge difference. So that was a really good game. Okay. I set up for the London system. And uh, this is what usually um, Grandmaster Simon Williams says to play. But I, I wanted to kind of just, you know, a little bit of out, out of the ordinary. I wanted to control the center with my bishop. And then potentially I can go d2, knight d2. Or bd2, sorry. Or maybe I can even go uh, c4 and then knight, knight c3 or b, uh, bishop, knight bd2. And so I played my knight there. He played back and... I just that actually exchange is what took him down my opponent down but I gotta tell you remember it's all about professionalism we have to remember that professional professional and so I played um, uh, C2 which is I want him to play here and that's actually what he does I play this is oh I see why that's a really good move because it attacks there and there so that when he plays here you can actually win a pawn ah ah okay now I know I know the drawback to that move now you play the queen to uh, b3 that that handles that okay but so my idea was to go for a soft spot which there the soft spot here actually can be emphasized there so you know it is what it is right and so at this point I thought to myself what what would be a really good idea so I castle kingside a uh, queen side and it castles yes into an attack but I'm not really worried I blocked it and now I'm I'm the one with all the development look at his pieces my opponent's pieces they all, the majority of them are on the back rank. They have no uh, movement at all. So when he plays there, I just like, I just pounce. It's like, it's like a welcome call saying, come in, send the forces. And I'm like, boom. And it's like, and he goes, takes, and I take. And it's like, wow. He plays back there. I play here. Now I'm getting ready for, to uh, actually come in with an attack. I'll show you potentially here and there and I actually jump I jump in like with uh, this this move was kind of harder to see I wanted to threaten a uh, checkmate I had to I had to realize that I had to sacrifice a rook to do that and I take he moves I move back check now now at this point positionally I'm winning it, it's just how it is Oh wow! So you can actually play there, and then it's okay. And then yeah, okay. I gotcha. Well, at least I know how to handle that now. I went for uh, the bishop. Brought in. And then I brought my knight in. Now I'm threatening to um, win this pawn because it's pinned here. 
He plays there, and then I take. And now I'm attacking the queen. I bring in, and then it's checkmate. But it's not by any means a perfect game. So you're like back here. This would have been the the correct move sequence, and then I take there. So we have to we have to keep that in mind. And let's see further down. Um, knight to uh, e6 takes 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 and and there that's the proper uh, move in that area so so you're not always going to play the the best and in, in here should have taken the pawn I was thinking about that but I have to remember his positions really cramped and so I can always play there and I have enough uh, attack going so and you know there's a there's a whole bunch so let's go let's go to uh, Levon Aronians versus uh, Vladimir Kramnik Kramnik okay this is actually from the candidates tournament um, just today and it was a really well played game by Vladimir Kramnik you have a game with I I have uh, which one? Cause I have a Fabiano. Let me see. What's this one? Is this the uh, chess versus Simon? So is this Simon uh, Williams? So this is Simon Williams. Let's take let's take a look at this. So Simon Williams is black. So let's let's uh Turn this board. I'm going to turn off this here. Okay. Okay, so he's doing that. He's doing the Leningrad Dutch or the classic Dutch variation, huh? Yeah, he loves his uh, Al. Uh, he calls it his Alfred. Yeah, the now now it's the Dutch classic, for, uh, and he loves playing Alfred, and then he loves doing Harry as well. So, trying to kick this knight out I mean this bishop out this idea here it stops if you if you want to think about it this move has a pretty good idea going it um, stops this pawn from advancing any further also if it ever tried to advance it would block a uh, the square a3 for the bishop also what it does is he now has a pawn on the opposite color of the dar squared bishop and really an interesting move for sure d5 nice so he's going for the dutch you gotta love the dutch and his position is big and nice, really, really nice. Oh, his favorite retreating thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's. Uh, this is what Simon says that if you can actually get. So, Grandmaster Simon Williams says if you can get your um, 
bishop outside the pawn chain in the French and the Dutch that you're doing rather well and there's a couple ways of doing it one way is fianchettoing it here our, our advanced fianchetto R, there's uh, I, he calls it the, the long route around <laughs> it's up down up and, it, and then you're outside the pawn chain it's, then your light square bishop is no longer a bad bishop it's an active bad bishop and so that that's that's the whole idea about that okay let's see what what have we got here okay oh he's going for the crunch oh, sorry he's going for for the the opening move of f4 the the crunch crunch i, I call it the crunch crunch cuz it it just like eats away at the king's defenses Oh man, and now look what Simon has. Boom, baby! You gotta love that. It's like wow. He's got this whole open file, right? Or half open file, for his rook. It's like this rook is singing, th thanking this pawn for the soldier for giving its life, so that it can have now free reign to send all the mortar rounds it needs in to the uh, fight all the way at the end of the board. It's artillery in the king now. And now this bishop is eyeing, if you notice, the, the rook. So it's setting up for a sniper shot right at the rook on uh, C1. It's, going, it's, it's, it's eyeing up. It has a target with a crosshairs right on that rook. So this rook's got to be very careful, though, this artillery unit. He takes with the knight. So there's actually a discovery here. You got to be very careful with this piece here. You can get, you can win some good material if you do it right. Oh wow, he's going for he's he's hit he's sniping the other artillery unit, the other rook. And then that that rook grabs that. Let's just take a look to see what the computer says. Very interesting for sure. I don't know if I would go, have gone for that, so I I might have done the rook idea too. But now I see now why he should have uh, taken though. Was I believe that his opponent might have thought about taking like that, and then he just retreats back. His opponent retreats back. At that point, he goes there and then there, and the kind of counterbalance that yeah that you get is this. The pawn structure is wrecked, so he's got an isolated weak pawn potentially ready to fall, and I kind of see why the trade happened. He let that happen. And that that would be an interesting idea. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're thinking there. So he has to take at that point, and then you take back. So that's why. 
and then the rook slides over, and I believe that pawn. Oh, we bring it up. Yeah, see now, now all your forces are starting to come to life, and so like when takes here takes, but then the, probably the last rook slides in. You have your last piece sliding in, and everything's operation uh, KO. So. After what? What am I missing? After the after rook takes g5. After white, it's when white took back on g5. Okay, let's take a looky. What am I missing? Hold on. Oh, gotcha with uh, knight. Oh, I gotcha. I see what you're saying. So, when uh, it was when white took g5, knight takes g5, uh, pawn takes g5, and I really don't see anything else. Is this what you're talking about? Black took on, uh, took G5, oh. It was when white took black's G5 bishop. Hold on, where am I? I must be missing something here. Oh, when white, oh, I gotcha. I gotcha, when, okay. Oh, why not? Yeah. Isn't that, that's hard, isn't it? It's like, really? Yeah, it's like so. Knight, knight actually. Uh, knight takes g five happened in the game, and black recaptured with the queen. Yeah, exactly. So th this this uh, this could have been an idea here, like what you were saying, and it takes and it takes takes and bishop takes takes and then takes but it's white who actually has uh, an edge at that point because if he takes here then you, you take there and he's up I believe two pieces at that moment so it's kind of like a forced he's got to actually take otherwise that falls the queen falls and it's kind of a forced you have to take at that point and then pawn takes. Because you don't want to take with your bishop. Cause, well, I guess you could take with your bishop, but the only problem is you have a fork here. There's potential you could play there, but... If he gets greedy and takes here... You uh, threaten uh, a little bit of a problem here. Boom.
then you have that. It's like, ouch. Yeah, you get the sting uh, of waking up to a particular sitch. So he's, Simon's willing, winning at this point. Positionally, he's winning. Oh, wow. That's a hardcore move. Because you're willing to, um, actually it's undiscovering an attack, isn't it? So, ouch, nice. I like that move. That move is, that move deserves an exclaim there, in my opinion. So, <laughs> and, uh, so, I think it's an excellent move because it has here, and it threatens to win the queen. So, it's like, oh, that is so nice. And then boom, there goes the pawn. It's like, wow. Actually, it's got to go here. Or, I'm sorry, here. And then takes, queen takes, rook takes. And then maybe he'll have to retreat back. But he'll have at least one a pawn. So the king comes up having the guard twice. And now... Now the rook is going to start coming in, potentially here, or here. The main idea, though, about this position is this rook takes the open file here, and potentially you have, I, I would play at this next move if it was black, queen c f5, then queen to f4, because then you're threatening check, and then check, and then checkmate once he moves back. I'm going to, actually that is checkmate. So you're threatening here, there, there, and then mate, sorry. So here, 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 and then mate. So mate three, if he plays it correctly. G5, four. Oh. And then knight, you can play uh, queen there, and then if queen comes here, you just snap that off. And I believe you're you're okay materially wise. And if he takes here, you just come straight there. And now you're threatening here, and and if he tries there, you just you can actually move up. If he checks up, and it's a draw. Okay. Yeah, queen f4 is huge. This all came from it, the computers go to the to games to actually get ideas. So at this point, and then it cuts off here. And then the rook would come up here and you would uh, potentially have to bring your bishop back. And then what you do is now you're doubling up. You'd have to play something like that. Probably rather than back, you probably would play here. Oh, he wants to play there. That's even better. And then at this point, if he plays here, you can actually go for an attack on the king. So it's like, ooh. If he takes here, you take with check, and he takes there, and then you take. And it's, there's enough, you're up enough material to merit this position. You're, you're so winning. This is like just ridiculously winning. There's no real way you can lose in this unless you truly blunder. So knight uh, e7 was a inaccurate move. Takes, takes. Knight 
What happens if we place here? Oh, we place in there. I gotcha. Munch, munch. Pac-Man time. I don't know if this would be such a hard move to actually have seen, in my opinion. I think I would have seen that. I think what he was concerned about is there, and then I you have to calculate sometimes. And now, now this is pinned, so I was gonna have to play something like that, and it's like I don't know. Okay, now he's now he's attacking. Now we're talking. Yep. And now we're getting our rooks activated. Now we're threatening takes. Can't believe he took I that is just crazy. That's crazy. You don't you should he lost his uh queen. Oh he didn't lose his queen. Okay, he had, okay, so in his mind he's saving it, but I have to remember that. Remember, best idea is to go for the neutralizing move. This is, this is really an accurate move. So you're going here, 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 there, and at that point you can I guess potentially play here and then he moves check he moves back and then you got checkmate yeah it's I see why he did this you're cutting you're cutting cutting the king off at this point um, black one even though it was uh, inaccurate <laughs> wow that's pretty impressive that you can still win on a question mark move you don't get to see that every day. I think I I see what his idea was was if let let's say that um, black played something like that. You you have something here, there, and then potentially maybe maybe you can neutralize this idea here. You check comes there check and then you bring your uh, and he takes takes and then he probably can come down here it's a little interesting for sure now you have your passer so if he starts pushing you just pin now you've you've actually cut the communications of these pawns, so he's gonna have to play there. And then now, even if he pushes, you need you're gonna have to somehow stay uh, stay in contact. I like that move there. Oh. Snakies, that's not a good move. And now, now it comes down to this pawn, and so there's really no hope now. It's all, it's all over. Okay, that was a really good game. Really good game by Simon.
but I wanted to show you it now. That was a really good game. Thank you, Fox. This is actually from the Candidates Tournament. I wanted to show you guys this one. Um, first of all, if Vlad is black and uh, Levon is white. It just happened today. It was a brilliant game. A really, really beautiful game. And uh, I'm sorry that Levon was on the receiving end of it, but it's still in, uh, you know, chess terms and as a masterpiece, it was, it's beautiful. But it's just hard when you get this delivered to you. It's like, oh, it's not fun to have, have that thrown right at you, thrown in your face. So you got to remember, we all we're human. We all make mistakes. Grandmasters are like supers. They 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 all sometimes they make um, inaccurate moves. It's not that they're not good players. It's we make mistakes. But guess what? Trust me. Trust me. Levon's gonna take this game home and uh, are back to his room wherever wherever they are. <laughs> And he's going to uh, analyze this so this most definitely doesn't happen again to him. So I've had a game played not like this, but I got defeated one time pretty bad. And I analyzed the game and never happened again. So takes, takes. You have to be very, very sure when it comes to your play. Uh, Jeremy Silman's book, um, um, what a amateur amateur's mind and imbalance. You have to be really, 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 really. I I know I'm a, I'm gonna say it two more times. Really, really sure when you trade off your one of your bishops, that that you're okay with the imbalance of being down a light squared bishop. Because if you just trade it off for trading sake. Uh, and your opponent's able to open up the center, you're in a pickle, big time pickle. So, Levon had an idea about that. I, the idea, more likely, if I if I was thinking like Levon, which uh, would be uh, pretty cool for uh, a brain like that, uh, is that his idea is just look at the pawn structure. He was uh, more likely planning for endgame so that when uh, it came to an endgame, he would have a better pawn structure. So this was more probably flowing to an endgame idea, the structure of the pawns. And see how fluent um, Levon's pawns are? This is Vlad's pawns. I'll show you kind of jig, jiggy jaggedy or whatever they call it uh, not as um, straight but it's still good it's still okay because he, he still has enough compactness that potentially he can do a minor a majority attack if he can get let's say this pawn gets here this pawn here that pawn gets there you can start your uh, queenside majority so give and take and by this time, Vlad knows that um, because of his pawn structure, he doesn't really want to go into an end game. So he wants to keep it uh, in more of a middle game, tactical uh, game. And so that's why he kind of plays, um, he doesn't kind of, he plays queen e7. And Levon um, goes h3, which... Uh, stops. See what he's afraid of. Levon's afraid of his knight here, but with a threat on this uh, rook. But there's really not a problem at all because you can always, always need be come here, and if knight takes, bishop ta um, bishop takes, take or pawn takes right here. If hat must be. And then you move and you have this open file so give and take this in my opinion was a little too um, uh, 
you know, not positional, but too telling, I guess. <laughs> I don't know the word. I was going to think of another word, but I forgot that word. Um, but I, I just, I really didn't, in my opinion, I don't know if I would have played uh, H3. I understand it's to stop there, but... I really didn't see. And uh, in my opinion, I was I'd be really concerned with some sort of sack, sacrifice. Maybe maybe getting a knight here and then somehow getting a queen here and then sacrificing on the king side. So I probably would have, if it was me, I would have traded bishop to e uh, e3. Bishop takes bishop pawn takes, and. Yes, the structure is kind of fractured, but if you look at uh, Vladimir's um, pawn structure, his is not as fluent. This is. Yes, it's. you're saying, but wait, don't you have somewhat of a double pawn on the e-file? Yeah, but remember, it's not a side double pawn. This is more of a center, and so you have this pawn mass that can just overpower this e5 pawn with potentially d4 and maybe even uh, d5 and pawn takes d5 pawn takes d5 and then c4 and now you have a massive structure just it's like a it's like a QB seeing a whole his line uh, in football just collapse and these guys are just climbing just going right up the board on him it's like I'd be scared when I if I had that. So that's just me though. Um, and also, Vlad knows that he's most definitely because of this weakness. He's not gonna castle uh, queen side. I mean king side. He's gonna castle if anything queen side. And now he's got a jump on the attack with his rook there. That was a really questionable move. I think I would have played like the computer said here. And then if, if that's played, or he probably wouldn't play there, he might play something like, let's say here, then you play there. Then if that's played, then you play here. And if you have something like that, then you, you can trap. So more likely, rather than the knight move, we'll have to get rid of that knight. Probably something like that. And then now you lock the, the bishop off. And now Vlad's bishop's out of play. And so you have some... You have, he's basically down a whole piece. And you can fianchetto your bishop, bring your knight in, and you're defended. But you really don't want to do uh, really king moves. <laughs> um, I I see why he did that. He wanted to get the the bishop that off. But again, there's really no threat. So that's that's a tough one. I didn't understand why he played that. A C3, pawn C3. At this point, I don't have, I have no idea why he didn't play um, B4, in my opinion. I was, I was just puzzled about this. Because kick this knight out, kick this bishop out, then play A4. And then if he tries something like that, then you have uh, A, uh, A6. And if he takes... Then you take with uh, your queen. And so now, if this was to open up, now is king safe. The idea of now he's going to have to take there and rook takes, and you're still okay. But I, you know what? This is a very stressful uh, thing. So it's like, yeah, I have to remember that they're in the candidates tournament. There's a lot on the line, a lot of stress, a lot of emotions are uh, happening. He can't really take here because the queen takes. So that was a uh, a little bit of sly of a trick there. 
so I pushed d4 was correct he played he played the correct moves See that this is the move that was um, questionable. So then you trade, and then if bishop takes, and then you can actually develop there. Yeah. Yeah, he has to he has to play something like that to break the center. I see what you're saying. And so but A4 was the was the move that kind of was the this was the tide turner right here. Because you don't want to take. Taking is not what you want. Pushing his his idea, Vlad's idea is just to spry open the the king side. It's it's this this was more in my opinion of a, a can opener. And every time you turned, the more of the can was able to be opened. And then eventually this move opened here. Actually the rook slides over. See that there this was an idea. Takes. And then pawn push. And maybe maybe you have uh you have some sort of a idea of saving the position. Potentially you're probably gonna have to play there. Yeah, not not fun for sure. You don't want to see that. And at this point, um, Levon um, resigned. But the whole, all the whole sitch, the one the one thing that caused the the tide turn was well, first tide turner was this rather than moving back here. Second one, which was the um, what looked like a good idea, which wasn't, was the uh, uh, bishop to g5 pawn takes, and it just what it did was it took on uh, took a defender off of the uh, king. This bishop was doing a wonderful job of protecting the king. Uh, uh, Levon needed to have kept this uh, bishop on the board to cover the dark square weaknesses and potentially he could have a draw if it comes down to it because they have opposite colored uh, bishops. High, high, high chance for a draw. Okay. Let's check out. I have a another game I wanted to show you. It's between it's Caruana versus Ma Pava, Ma Pava, Ma Ma Pava. I I think that the Pav. I'll just call him uh, Ma, Mama, Mama. It's not J, Yarva. I don't know how to pronounce uh, pronounce his name. I apologize. 
I, I'll just say black and white, black, white. Hey, how you doing? Okay, so we're just gonna, I'll just say Caruana and then I'll say uh, uh, black because I, I don't want to pronounce uh, the other candidate's name incorrectly. I'm gonna, I want to do it right. I think it's Mama Java, Java. Let's call it, uh, Mada, Mada, De, De, Java, Ma, Mada, Java, Mada, Java. Okay, I'll just say Mada, Java. Got it. Okay. Uh, uh, Caruana is black and uh, I mean white, and Ma Mama Jada Java is black. So we'll see how that is. So I I apologize if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I'll do my best to pronounce the black side's name. Okay, E4, C5. The reason I like this game was it came down to a bishop and um, he um, uh, Mama. Mata Java, Mata Java, um, had a, he had three extra pawns, or was it two extra pawns and a bishop, and, uh, Karamwana had one pawn and a rook, so it equaled out, um, pawn-wise to an equal position, so... Oh, Mada Shava, Shava, Ma Mada Shav, Mada Shav. Okay, Shock. And uh, Shaf Shock. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce his name right, so I'll do my best. I, I like yours, Mada Shaf, Mada Shaf, Shock. Let's I'll say Mada Shock. Okay, I'm on a shock. <laughs> I'll just do black. I'm just gonna do. Uh, uh, I'll do uh, a caruana is white, and I don't. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> I apologize. Okay, e takes. So uh, we'll just get into this. So white um, uh, played really good. I I liked this. I was I was really impressed how that it w went to Sicilian because Sicilians are really popular. With grandmasters, hey, how you doing, Big Reno? And I was hoping that though, is Shava, Shava? Oh, Shak, Shava. Okay. Shavaka, Shava, Shavaka. Okay. Uh, so Shavaka, Shavak was, I'll just say Shavak. Alright, there we go. I, I finally finally found hit the, the correct name because sometimes their their names are really hard to pronounce. It's like, ugh. Uh, it said one way that it said another way, so Shavak. I'll just call him that, Shavak. Okay. Shavak is black. We'll just say Shavak, okay. So what's going on here is I was hoping for a kind of like a more of a scotch game kind of setup, something like this, because that would have been really interesting for uh, for this to have uh, come. I was hoping for a variation like that, and then the knights come in, and then maybe potentially something like that. That'd have been fun to have seen. Oh, shark. Shavak. Uh, we'll just call it Shavak. Okay. Because I got to keep it. I got to keep it one thing that I can pronounce. I know I can pronounce Shavak. 
or something like that. Yeah. So, um, Caruana. And so it's pr pretty much um, just the the Sicilian defense. And a lot of these players are really uh, grandmasters know this. So it's played very sharply. And I, that's, what I, well, that's really what I liked how Caruana handled this was he played more of the classical line of it. And so, and that see, it's like it's development. And Caruana, his knights are on the opposite side, but uh, Shavik's, um pieces are are also they're more the bishop's more centralized. The knight's good. There's really no action right at this moment in the center. So. Caruana has more fluent of a uh, of flow, if you can tell. I guess uh, Mama Jara, Jaro, Jarva, Java. So, uh, and he's just see he pushed, and now now there's castle, and then this. It's now who can uh, get the attack going first. And it's all a go attack. So this now the rooks pinned the pawn to the king, and that was that's interesting. Why didn't he play there? Because he's gonna have to move back. Then at this point, I guess you could play there, couldn't you? Huh? Interesting. So G5, this kind of tries to, this knight moves in an interesting move for sure. I was thinking about rather than doing, uh, you know, tactics today, we were going to just do two games because it's kind of good to take a slight break from tactics and and do some game analysis. So after this game, I let's see how many how many more moves. Yeah, I got to probably log after this game. But this this was a really really good one. I I like the Levon uh versus Kramnik and Caruana versus uh Mamajara. Uh, he did really good on that, and then the and now that's an interesting idea to stop that. And um, yeah, I really enjoy uh, this this game because it came down to a really strong strong end game play, and <laughs> it wasn't easy for both sides. It just, it was a slow, slow maneuvering. And it's all who has, in my opinion, who has the most stamina and who has um, um, studied and like we're studying real hard, guys. It's all who put has put in their time to be, to do it. The queen, oh man, you gotta love when, when your queen can infiltrate right in. Now, He's threatening checkmate. So the bishop has to come back. Now the knight's coming in, so. More likely that's going to have to be played. I'll attack the queen. So probably, let's see, how, where would the queen go? Oh, back, okay. Because he's got he's to gain a hold of that. And Bobby would just win a, uh, a pawn. So Bobby's actually going for a... Uh,
Yeah, exactly. I agree. Yeah, he has to uh, keep that area. Yeah. yeah, this if he takes here, this really doesn't do anything. If he, uh, sorry, if this if this was actually taken before, there's a way of uh, holding everything, and now the structure's bad. So. On. Oh, well, now there's a threat. Oh man, the classic back rake mate arises in this position. This bishop blocks. Uh, You gotta love that. I kind of would have snapped off that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that, it's really interesting that this is actually a draw, and I was like, pretty impressed that it uh, that it was. Uh, and it came to a draw. I was like, whoa. See, uh, black has enough to, uh, um, Mama Java has enough, um, pawns. He's got three passers. And there, there's enough that he can, uh, basically hold this position. And so they just agreed to a draw because I went through this. If he plays here, you play there and bishop. Then what happens is you take, takes, takes. Watch, I'll show you. I actually went through through this. It's really an interesting line. If he plays here, uh, then you play there. And if he starts playing over here. And then that's a draw because you have to go back here. He has to go. I think it's. It, I want to make sure. Am I doing this right? Okay, here. Yeah, he plays up there. That's right. Oh, there. That's that's that was it. Okay. I want to delete that. And so up here, that's right. That's right. Uh, he plays here, and then he, he plays back here, uh, back because he can't he can't ever take because if he does that pawn runs, and if Fabi takes this pawn runs, so it's actually a draw. These these two pawns here uh, protect each other, and these this pawn structure protects. And black can go back and forth, and white just goes back and forth. There's no progress that could be made. And it's just a plain draw. Exactly, that is true. Well, we might hit. You know what? We'll do this. We'll do one tactic. I I got it. I gotta do a tactic. I know. I said I was was it going to. We'll do one. One tactic. Okay, dokey. Let's let's get out of this one and we'll pull up a board. One tactic. Cause I, I gotta say I love doing tactics with you guys. It's great. So let's let's do let's do a tactic.
All right. Uh, okay. So, knight to g, uh, so pawn h6, h5, pawn h5 is an interesting idea. It's trying to take advantage of this knight. Let's see if we check and he comes up. We potentially Well, you can have some help. You can come in. That's okay. Hey, not a problem. Come on, in. come on in. We'll, we'll, we're all. You know what? It's all about learning. That's the whole thing. We're, we're our rating is uh, getting better and better. It sometimes goes up. Sometimes goes down. It's all about learning. That's the whole purpose of it. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. I'm trying to find out. I believe here, check. And if he plays there, we could actually slide our rook over. Or maybe even get the queen involved. I think the queen's probably better in that sitch. Okay, let's do, I do a couple more tactics. All right, we'll do a couple more. All right. Yep. Oh. Oh, teamwork. We work together. We work together as a team. It's all about teamwork. Pa and remember, patience is, is huge. So it may take you a while to get the correct um, tactic. It may take you a little bit of time, but trust me, it's worth it to take your time and actually do it 100% on, on, you know what I mean? And even if you don't get it, yeah. So I'm thinking that it might it, it can, one of the Kenny's moves might be queen um, queen b3. And second one might be um, c8. But I'm not sure if that's um, forced enough because of h4. Then we have a check, and if he uh, comes up, we can play queen over. If he can't, he can't really come, so he's gonna have to come up there. And then we bring our rook over. If he comes over there, hmm. I guess we can win. We can win that rook, can't we? Let's just take it to see here, there, there, there. There, here, check, there, and put, no, that doesn't work because the pawn's there. Drat, that's really irritating. Let's see, rook d8. Um, D8 King D8 King F7 Queen B3 D6 Rook D7 
Huh. Yeah, I like that. Well, I guess we have that, don't we? I'm trying to see. That's why I'm thinking it potentially might be, um, but I, I do have, I do have a problem though. I don't think we can take it, uh, I don't think we can take it off this, these, these spots here because if we play over here, he can, uh, infiltrate into this spot here and we're in a slight issue. Richie seven. Why not Richie seven? That's an interesting um, move. Hmm. Oh, queen uh, b3, it actually um, allows for the infiltration of the queen to come in, but the problem is we have to be careful of, of this square here. That's the only sitch. If he can infiltrate in here, we kind of have a, a problem because then we'd have to move back and... I guess he could play uh, check there. Well, maybe maybe we are okay. Maybe we can just play uh, um, king h3 after that. We're fine. Oh, gotcha. I'm trying to see. I believe there's m that's more forcing of a... Uh, The only sitch I, I only see is potentially uh, if we play here, he's got check there. We come up and I think we're safe at that point. I don't really see anything uh, that he could do. So the best I see if we play the uh, queen b3 is h4. And I think we can actually win the rook in this scenario. I believe we're actually good for an attack. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, I guess that doesn't work, does it? Huh, nice. Yeah, I, th I think you're right, Rook D, uh, D8 first. And I believe we play, we could play our king now. Yeah, king H3, and we then can play, um, um, F5 at that point. Otherwise, if we try this again, he's got this, and if we try that, he's got that, and then we take, and he still comes over and mates us. So we have to get our king off this, this uh, rank, second rank.
Yeah. Oh, you're kidding me. What what did we do wrong? Okay, you push. Okay, Doki. And then you trade off queens. And yeah, you have enough material now with these pass pawns here to cause to wreck havoc. Yeah. All right, let's do this thing. Okay, Doki. Hmm. Oh, I like it. Uh, queen takes. Queen takes uh, B. At A one, and if Rook takes A one, then we have uh, pawn, uh, Rook takes Queen. So if Queen takes Rook, Queen takes Rook. Rook takes Rook. Rook takes Rook, and no, we don't have anything after that. I'm moving too fast. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, I believe it's here, 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 and there, and I don't know, though. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, simple. You go there. I can't believe I missed that, yeah. Ooh, yeah, that is that is a bad idea. Yep. And there you go. Yeah, I forgot about there this is actually a pattern tactic. It's called removing the guard. So you actually remove the guard of the protectorate of the queen. So just keep that in mind. Tactics, tactics are the heart of chess. So just keep that in mind if you're wondering how to improve your middle game, guys. It's to, it's you need to um, study tactics uh, right alongside with games. So Yeah, you know what? We all need to. We all have to go back and study a little bit. That that's the whole thing. You know what? You're uh, you're never without uh, study, so you have to continue to keep pushing forward. That's why we. Uh, that's why the streams here is to first study. You know, and for team work always. Like we in an area that if I uh, you know miss, uh, you guys always help me to find the the correct move, and so I'm improving right alongside with you. That's that's the whole thing. And I always remember the phrase, the teacher is not greater than the student because when that happens you stop learning. So just just always remember that. If the teachers think that they're greater than the students, they will continue. They will stop learning as well. So you have to always remember to continue to learn, so you can uh, progress further down the road, guys. 
even even if you have to go over the the very basics of tactics again, like removing the guard, discovery, forks, x-rays, pins, skewers, double attacks, you have to go over those for, um, you know, uh, uh, what do they say, uh, refresh your course on it, go for it. Never be too ashamed to... Uh, to go back over uh, a game that you have a question about either. Alrighty. about king takes let's see okay fox has rook not rook okay wrong one let's see okay king takes d4 oh knight takes knight takes e6 is interesting I believe. Let me see. What can we do with that? With that, I think we have a check. Potentially, maybe. Hmm. We have to. We have to make sure our tactics are our are hundred percent. I like. I like that idea. I do like that, because that does allow. It protects this pawn and allows us to take the knight. So knight takes e6. And if he does like a check and we move our king, well we can't move our, we can actually then at that point, let's see if we play here, he checks there, we can just take that pawn. And then we have one, two pawns. I like that. Yeah, I I think that I believe that's actually the best. Let me see. Is there any counter moves that he can do? Well, maybe there's. If he checks, we just take. So. So knight takes. If he moves, the knight protects that pawn. Our king um, stops. The other is well. Let me see. Then we can always we always have. Oops. We always have here and then there too. Need be. Knight e6 and then knight d8, yeah. I'm thinking that if uh, if we take on e6, even if he puts his knight on uh, b2, we can just take this pawn and then all of his pawns are all gone and we, we're actually winning. Let's see here, here, and then we can, I guess, move back. Huh. Interesting. This does look drawish. Right. Interesting. That we do queen. If you think about it, we do queen. I like. I see what you're saying about that. We queen with check here, guys. If we take, uh, I like that idea. Thirteen. That's a really good good idea. Cause if you take here and he pushes, push, queens, 
queens with we queen with check. I think we have to take the knight if I'm not mistaken. Because even if he plays here, we push. And we have we have a knight, so I I I I think we're good. I think I think we're good if we uh take So let's see, takes, well, say here, there, queen, and then queen. And if he moves, we have a check. If he moves up. I guess we guess we don't want to check that way, do we? Oh, we can win if we, oh, if he did that, that's, so, if he queens, let's see, we take here, 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 and then we queen check and he comes there. That's a horrible move because we could play there for the king and queen. So, he's in somewhat of a sitch at that point. Yeah, I, I, I believe that taking is the, uh, 100%, percent i am going to more likely 100% on uh, king takes h uh, c4. That doesn't draw. The only stitch is though, if he can get his knight in front of, uh, see, I'll show you right here. His idea was to get his knight. See, he goes from here to here to there to there. His his idea is to move from here to here and barricade off that pawn. If if we take the knight though, he can't barricade off his pawn, and we actually queen with check at that point. So, like, if we take, if we take, and then he moves, push. Sorry, we take, he moves. We could actually play uh, knight, knight check at that point. And if he comes down trying to uh, win our pawn, we play knight takes d6, and we stop the queen is square. So if we take here and he moves, we, co we come up, and if he comes back here, we can actually take, if he takes there, we just push, and we win. So that that's actually a really strong move. What do you think? So what do you guys? I I believe it's taking. You wanna you wanna give that a go? Cause I think that that actually is the best. Let's give it a shot. I 
There we go. Do one more. Do one more of the night, then we'll log. Oh, you want to see why it doesn't work? Gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, night takes. Yeah, because this is all, we got to remember this is about learning. Uh, oh, wow, he plays there. I thought for sure he was going to play. Oh, he, he's got to take, oh, I gotcha. Okay. We push. And then it's a draw. I think you're right. It does. Let's get back here. Hold on. So. Uh, so D. And uh, yeah, you're right. D. Uh, I think Knight. Uh, D, uh, uh, not D, I think it's B, uh, it, this still draws as well. You're 100% right on the draw, because then you just, you just take that. There's really no way to progress any further. It's going to end up a uh, draw. Insufficient material. Come on, don't lag on me now. Come on. Oh, okay, it just it just did a draw already. Yeah. That's that's the whole thing. Uh, we uh we queened. Uh, with check and it, it gave us the one tempo we needed finish on one more one more positive up and out yes we want to do that let's see here let's see what does that give up 
and that gives up oops protection of this also I see that but that's why it probably moved hmm He wants to play bishop takes, pawn takes, and then check, and then come over and win that that pawn. So we got to be really on our toes here. Right, let me see. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, the queen does look a little kind of stuck for sure on this side. It only has really two spots to go to. So, if there's a way we can take advantage of that. Well, I guess there is. We could play. Uh, Knight to the uh, or maybe knight we have that uh, we have those spots I'm trying to see what's a uh, Because if we played here, he's got up there. But if we played there, he's only got that spot. And then we have a, uh, we have, at that point, we have queen d, uh, or sorry, queen c2. I like, uh, I like, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's good for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm thinking in, uh... Because this is under attack. Yeah. That, that does hold the position, because he can't take... Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh boy. Boy, boy, boy. This is a pain, isn't it? Trying to see if, uh, yeah, see, we have a uh, two attack sitch here. We have that. One second. Trying to see because we need to take advantage of this. Maybe if we play here, he takes. And uh, nope, we can't. I was hoping to play there, but we can't. Hmm. If we take knight takes pawn, this is you take there, and you take after we take this rook. And I don't really see we get anything after that, so, huh. I like that. I, I like that because if he takes here, you do have a fork, don't you? Hmm. Interesting. So here, here. That covers that. And he's going to lose his bishop. 
I do. I I do see that. See, if I like. Yeah, I like. Uh, oh, you like. I like. You like Bishop B uh, B six. May knight B six. Hmm. That does. That does an interesting thing for sure. Huh. Because knight here. Yeah, that is that is an interesting move. Now that now that we look at that, yeah, that that does that handles that sitch really well. This is more of a. Uh, Prophylactic move. Yeah, I do. I now that I now that I look at now that we look at that, I do like B six. There's we get a pawn for here, but that's it, and we leave that hanging and everything. Yeah. Oh. You're kidding me. It would have worked. I want to go back and check to see why that doesn't work. Hold on, because that that is a very interesting. Uh... Yeah, there we go. Let's see, why doesn't that work? Yeah, because here, there, it can comes up, we slide over and win. Okay, so it takes. I like that night. There we go. And if he checks there. Probably night there. Yeah, something similar to that. Yeah. It's okay. Hey. Not to worry. We'll do one more. Ah, <sighs> 
Do, do. Okay, so we have him pinned down. If we play check, 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 check. So if we if we if we get this if we get this uh, guy a walking, this player a walking, he has to come there, and then when we take, he comes up. And then we play there, we play check there. It's the best that I can see. I mean, even have better if that's a really good move too. So if we go here, 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 and if he moves there, we take. We intercepts. We check. Actually, we can win this rook. What am I talking about? But later on. <laughs> That's the most forcing line. I believe that this has to be, this has to, oh, you're kidding me, you're joking me, really? Okay. Huh, what am I missing? Oh, drat. So we had, okay, so we missed, why doesn't that one work? I have no idea why that, why that does, oh, I get, because of the, Ah, drat. So we move here. Okay. Then we have to. We check here. Oh, he comes. Oh, he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to do that. Oh, he doesn't have to flee there. He could come up. Oh, drat. Drat, drat, drat. That's not fun. Then he takes there. Ouch. Ah. Let's see, let's we'll check one more. We'll see about this. That one was a shame. A shame. Whoa. It's uh, that big of a delay.
Let's see here. Okay, if we play Rook takes, we play Rook takes, Queen Knight takes, Queen Rook takes, Bishop King takes, and then Rook takes check, and we would be up a whole piece at that point. Yeah, I believe this is, that's the move here. There, there. Yeah. And then you, now we can play there. Yay. We have, we have that. And we can win the, we can win the night. I think we're, Do we play uh, bishop? I think we can rescue our bishop, can't we? Oh, gee, okay. Okay, if we play back there. Takes 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 See, if we play here and he plays there, you actually have bishop takes e5 at that point. Bye bye, uh, Big Reno. Now here, there, takes, takes, and then you have there. Oh, you're right. Drat. Maybe it is a counter. Maybe it is. Maybe it is the counter attack that we're looking for. Cause here, here, and there, and there, and I don't know though if we get enough for that. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop on this note here. 
but let's see. So so here, and then night check. Actually, I like this better. Yeah, and then, then you come in like that. Okay. Well, with that, guys, I would I appreciate y'all logging on and spending time. We're uh, <laughs> we're slowly getting better, one one thing at a time, one step at a time. And so remember, guys, just keep pushing forward, keep doing good, keep studying chess. We're going to get back to where we, uh, you know, up and up, but it's just uh, progress, slow progress. It's not bad because it's it's important about growth. It's all about growth. It's those small, small little growths that make a big uh, thing happen. So it's, you know what, don't worry about it. And remember, only look back to learn. That's the whole thing. Learning is important. And, you know, like uh, Hannibal Smith, he said that there's always a plan to position. And when the and he loves it when a plan comes together. So, guys, remember, as Wesley so says, serve the Lord Jesus. And as I say, God bless.